Welcome to Dawson City. We're here on a Yukon adventure. We just flew in here this morning. We met with our outfitter Clint from Tombstone Wilderness Adventures. We're just about to jump on another plane to head to Spike Camp. We've got a moose tag and a doll sheet tag in our pockets, but here in the Yukon, you never know what's gonna happen. So stay tuned, this is gonna be a great hunt. Dawson City is located in the middle of the Yukon. Visiting this one-of-a-kind town is like taking a step back into time. And though very far from any major cities, it draws some 600,000 visitors each year with its rich history of the gold rush. As the plane touched down along the picturesque river valley, Kevin was greeted by his guide for the hunt, Bert Robidoux. After getting unpacked, Kevin made sure his gun and scope were still on, and with high hopes for tomorrow's hunt, settled into the cabin for the night. Kevin and Bert continued ascending the mountains in search of sheep. At one point, they did spot a nice grizzly gorging on blueberries on the far side of a large valley, but decided to continue their search for mountain sheep. In this area, the hunting regulations state a legal ram to harvest must be eight years old or have a full curl, which means at least one horn must extend beyond the line between the nostril and eye of the sheep. Well, we just came up over this knoll. We spotted six dolls over here. We got the spotting scope on them and they're all using lambs. But then as we were looking, we seen four rams down here. You think one could be a good one? One's a good one. Yeah? Yeah, one's a fairly good one. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna get on the back side of this? We need to get a closer look. So we need to go down here and get around these raw arc outcroppings and start going down the hill and get a, stay out of sight and have a Perfect. closer look. Well, let's get going then. Let's go. Two smaller ones won't move. I can't. I can't make out the big guy behind them. Looks nice though. Really big body compared to the other ones. Oh, wow, their head button. I can hear it from here. That's yeah, crazy. Let me get my spot scope here. I got. Get a look at this fighting here. You're establishing dominance. It looks like it. Yeah. Holy wow. Look at that. That's amazing. Man, he's a nice ram. Just, I guess he doesn't make it. No, the most I can get out of him is seven years old and he's not quite full curl, so. Unfortunately, we're going to have to pass him up. 
Well, it was a pretty exciting day though, nonetheless, seeing those rams, man, that, that made my day. Yeah, we, we sure had to do a lot of hiking today, though, eh? Yeah, yeah. We definitely put some miles yeah, on. Yeah, we definitely put some miles on. And we'll probably be doing it again tomorrow, I'm thinking. Yeah, and we have a long ways to go back home, too. Well, we better get started then, eh? <laughs> okay. All right. Seabird over there. Man, look at them rams. There's, there's two huge that gray ones. Dark gray one's huge, eh? Oh my gosh. Look at that one on the top, looking back this way. Look at the way over to the left. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Rams. I could see that that other gray one is full curl for sure, too, and he's got some mass. Wow. Got some 40 plus inch rams there. Look at them. Lots of mass. Can we relocate? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. We'll go around. Well, let's get going. Let's go grab a pack. Some big rams in there. Oh, monsters. Oh, man. epic doll sheep hunt anybody is ever gonna see. Oh, to man. be able to experience that, we sat up over there and this horrible storm came. Yeah. We got pelted with hail that was and then we're getting hammered with snow right now. Yeah. And then we and sneak we over the edge and he is right there. Bert, you I can't thank September you enough. September 5th, and look at this weather. Let's go get our hands on awesome. him, Bert. Awesome. Let's go get our hands on him. <laughs> oh, wow.
Bert, it finally happened, Bert, for us. <laughs> right on, man. Holy jumping. Look at, Look that, at that beautiful, beautiful animal. Pan and ram. Oh my goodness, is he gorgeous. Look at him. Oh wow. my goodness, Look Bert. Look at the weight. Look at him. Look at that girl. That is a beautiful, <laughs> oh! beautiful, beautiful sheep. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What an Bert, awesome is ram. is he ever gorgeous? He now, is. Now, Bert, now, people at home might not understand this, but we were actually after mountain sheep here in the Yukon. That's what our tag actually says. Yes. And this is not actually a doll sheep. It's actually classified as a fan. That's right. That's right. And this one, plenty of fan. And he's got the ghost colors. He's, he is a fan in 100%. And what that is, is that's a cross between a doll and a, and a stone, stone sheep. Cross Holy jumping bird. Well, well, how old is this, is this sheep, Bert? Okay. Well, this ram is one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half. Seven and a half, eight and a half, nine and a half, and right there, ten, ten and a half. half. Ten and a half year old. Jumping. Well, Bert, what a beautiful that was ram. just an unbelievable end to our to our hunt. It is. We had a horrible snowstorm. Yes. Now the sun's finally coming out. Finally coming out. But the work starts now, right, Bert? The work starts now. <laughs> We're gonna have to load them up in our backpacks. Yep. And uh, get them out of here. But let's get a tag on them before we do that. That's right. And uh, thanks again, Bert. That oh. was awesome. Good job. <laughs> That's it. Wow, look at the beauty. Look, uh, look how heavy it is. Wow. He's look gorgeous. how heavy. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Beautiful. gorgeous. Beautiful. Nice. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily original content from our adventures across Canada.